Hello again. It's uh, come to my attention that a very, very small group of people, and I mean I've seen maybe three or four comments like this, uh, but a very small group of people are questioning the legitimacy of my video where I claim that I was replaced by AI slash automation processes as a graphic designer. Um, so even though it's a very small number and I shouldn't give in to the haters and some of them may just be trolls trying to stir things up, um, I did some research and my redundancy letter, although it says private and confidential, there is no legal obligation that I cannot show this. I'm not going to show the company's name. I will remove that from the letter or blur it out so you can't see. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I will just show you the very important paragraph which explains exactly why I was made redundant, okay? So, <laughs> the letter begins by saying, I write further to the discussion on the 29th of April and consultation meetings on the 2nd of May and 9th of May, during which I was formed of company names proposal to make my position of creative designer redundant. I was the lead, senior, and only designer left at this company after six years of being there. I worked my way up from junior to middleweight and then creative designer. Um, I were given the right to be accompanied by a trade union, blah, 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 which I chose to waive and just discuss it with the company by myself. As a business, we are continually looking for ways to innovate and find more efficient ways of working that drive value to our customers. You can already see where this is going. <laughs> As a part of a recent project, we have identified a number of technological solutions, uh, I can't speak, technological solutions that support us in driving sustainable practices through our operations. This is a lot of contract jargon here to get around using the word AI, but you'll quickly, you know, realize something in a second. One of these solutions is automation of large parts of the onboarding process, which removes the manual standard design work, which is completed as part of the creative designer role within the delivery team. Regretfully, this change places me at a risk of, uh, risk of redundancy. <laughs> um, so there you go. Um, and after it's at the bottom, it says, um, unfortunately, after discussing um, the whole situation, we were unable to find any ways to avoid the redundancy of my role and any suitable alternative employment positions. Therefore, I left the company. You know, not on my own terms. I was basically kicked out uh, and re replaced with automation. Um, now, how some people may be getting maybe confused with this or, I don't know, thinking that it's complete BS, as some people are saying, is because they don't realise how far automation and AI has, has come. The publicly available um, AI things like Leonardo or Midjourney, or there's now a, a 3D one, what's it called? Let me quickly Google this. Uh, Meshi can create 3D models now. Um, you've got uh, Eleven Labs, which can replicate voices. Uh, it can do narration, it can do speech to speech. So you talk and it will repeat back, but in somebody else's voice. I can perfectly replicate the Master Chief. Uh, I can perfectly replicate singers. If I wanted to be Chris Brown for a day, I could do that. Be a bad idea because he gets, you know, bad rep deservedly. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's very, very advanced. And that's only the publicly available stuff. What you don't know is that companies are working in-house on creating stuff which you don't even have access to. And the reason you don't have access to it is because if you did, well then, why would you go through that company to get work. You would just use the AI yourself and cut out the middleman. You see where I'm coming from? <laughs> so yes, companies now have AI that is so advanced where you can literally just enter your website URL and it will extract all of your assets, look at the layout of your website and replicate that in 30 seconds or less. And it will spit out website templates, email templates, uh, whatever it needs to. And that is the kind of thing that I was replaced by. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's the proof. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the last time I will make a video about me losing my job to AI. Um, I've asked people what kind of videos I should make. Some people say talk about AI in other areas like the 3D stuff maybe, which I might do a couple of videos like that. There's um, a very big split between people that want that and people that want me to go back to my regular gaming content. 
Some people want game development updates on Cross Planet, which is my third person shooter I'm making. And uh, some people just want me to do anything. Like, some people are like, show off your Pokemon cards, or I don't know, show collections of stuff that I have, or just make regular gaming videos, commentaries, tell stories, anything. So there's a big split of what people want at the moment. Um, but I know that this specific topic of me losing my job is going to become very stale, repetitive, and I'm basically now rinsing the situation. Um, but I'm making this specific video to address like four people's claims that I didn't get made redundant, which is just insane that I have to do this. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you four people see this. Um, if not, then great. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, before I go, once again, thanks for the support. I think I now have 14,000 subs. Yesterday I had 10,000, 4,000 subs in a day, uh, which is insane. The way things are going, I might hit 15k by the end of the day, so I'll say it now. If I do, then thanks for 15k. Um, and I'll be very transparent. Um, some people have been asking about money. I do monetize the videos. Uh, some people have even donated. I think I've made roughly like maybe 70 to 90 GBP, so maybe 110, 120 dollars in donations, which definitely helps. I mean, that almost pays for like my food for the whole month. <laughs> and then uh, the AdSense revenue actually comes to about 400. Um, so soon, if this growth continues, a couple hundred more and boom, that's my mortgage for the full month paid. Um, so yeah. Very, very appreciate, very, very much appreciate the support. Um, I've said this all already, but I'll continue to iterate it like every time I hit a new milestone. Um, so yeah, all right. <laughs> That's that. I don't think there's anything else in this letter that I need to really read off. Um, no. Other than at the end, uh, I wish you every success in my future career. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I would love for it to be YouTube, um, but realistically, I don't think it's going to happen. I think this could be like a part-time thing, maybe. Um, but yeah, it is just like, like one video that's kind of blown up and the other ones are a little bit lower. But yeah, I really appreciate the community that I'm growing here. Some people, you know, say they want me to do specific videos and some people just say they like me for me and want me to do whatever I want. So um, it's very nice. This is like, the you know, the, the unrealistic dream is to become a YouTuber or have my own video game project that I provide updates on and stuff and somehow make a living do it so yeah right i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my san pellegrino watch some youtube videos edit some youtube videos and see you in the next one okay bye <laughs> uh also i did beat the boss in the gameplay you're uh, watching <laughs> just to just to post that you know proof that i did beat the boss as well uh, the game is robo quest by the way if anyone wants to know what i was playing a few people asked in uh, previous videos so yeah all right bye